Welcome to No Paint No Gains, I'm Ray. In this episode, I continue to work on painting the models from the Cursed City box set for my Cursed City Summer Series. Today, I'll be painting the Ferocious Fark Skier. For this project, I started by blocking in the major areas of a base tone. I wanted the skin to have that vampiric pallor to it, so I started with a base coat of Celestra Grey. As these vampiric hybrids are supposed to be bestial in nature, I decided on a contrasting brown for the fur on the arms, legs, back, and tail using Rhinox Hide. For the fleshy areas around the shoulders, arms, and inner ear, I mixed some Dragon Red and Nagroth Knight to produce a brownish red. This mixture would look good with the brown on the fur, but starkly contrast with the pale skin. With all the base coats applied, I washed over the skin with non-oil and the fleshy portions with Kerberg Crimson to seep into the creases and darken the shadows. I then used Celestra Grey to build the skin back to my mid-tone while leaving the dark wash in the recessed areas. From there, I continued to highlight the skin using Deepkin Flesh and Pallid Witch Flesh. I worked on a smaller surface area with each highlight, focusing my intention on the places I wanted to draw the most attention to. For the fleshy portions, I used pure red to build up the color on the raised sections while leaving the dark base coat in the recesses. To build even brighter highlights, I used the same approach when applying additional highlights of Troll Slayer Orange and Fire Dragon Bright. I wanted to draw attention to the feet and claws, so I decided to transition the skin into a poisonous dark purple tone. To achieve this look, I applied a few generous coats of Druki Violet. Once I was happy with the coverage, I used some Dachala Lilac to trace in a few highlights along the major raised areas, such as the knuckles on the hands and feet. Next, I wanted to highlight the fur. It has great texture and takes really well to dry brushing. I begin by applying a layer of Doom Bull Brown and follow that up with a series of lighter browns and khaki colors, always working towards the tip of the fur. Lastly, I dotted the eyes with a bright yellow and cleaned up all the nails on the hands and feet with black. This model was fun and easy to paint and I had a great time working on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and even share your own paint schemes of this model if you had the pleasure of painting it. As always, I want to thank you for sticking around and encourage you to spam that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Look at all the great content you are missing out on. Okay. Okay. Ow.